Every EuroLeague se season has uh, an excitement of its own, of course. Uh, in the, in the past years, our team hasn't been performing as well as we would have liked to. So, of course, there is also a sense of urgency coming with the excitement. Uh, we have to do good because uh, this team is always in its history. It's, it's a team built for success. And, of course, the lack of success makes us all a little bit edgy and a little bit more stressed than, than usual. This is a big club. Uh, it's not a sports club where there is a lot of uh, other sports like soccer or uh, volleyball or whatever. It's just a men's basketball club and uh, the main idea is that this team is built for success and this team is built to win. So basically with a sense of urgency and also uh, hopefully with uh, the, the, the excitement that our fans are going to bring this year, we're hoping to have a, a great year. It's, it's time for uh, FS to be put back on the map of European basketball. Well, uh, I think, and when I say this, I, uh, I'm sure that it's the same thing, the same feeling for, for Coach Mamoudi as well, that it makes our job easier because he knows me as a player, he knows how to use me, he knows what I can do best and what I can do less better. and. Uh, same way, I know him. I know what to expect of him. So basically, I don't. I don't need to, to waste too much time into uh, trying to figure out what what is exactly what, what he's trying to do with the team and with uh, with his tactics. So it's uh, it's a little it's a little bit uh, easier for me than for more for some other players, for new players that uh, have come this year. So uh, it, he has a different style, I would say, because. Uh, He's very much uh, hands-on. He has a hands-on approach. He goes, uh, he goes very hard on his players. Uh, sometimes you even get in fights with him. Uh, but this is only because he has, uh, he has a drive for success and he wants to win. And that makes him uh, a very good coach to be around. Sometimes less good, but <laughs> most of the time it's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's fun because it's, it's a basketball. It, it, the basketball he tries us to play, to make us play, is it's it's very high level, and uh, we, well, you always expect high level to uh, from a coach like him. So it's it's great, and I don't have any any regrets or I love it. Well, first of all, compared to other years, I think that our backcourt is uh, uh, is a much better one, and it's I think that we've improved a lot on the on the aspect of uh, offensive scoring. I think that both uh, Jamon and uh, and Jordan are great offensive players uh, with the ability to share the ball when it's needed and to also score when they like. Especially Jordan is a great offensive player that can create his own shot. Jamon is a real playmaker. Uh, in my opinion, he's one of the best uh, big guards in Europe because he, he's very unselfish. He sees the floor very well. Uh, he's very hard to, to stop in offense. And any time our game gets a little, uh, let's say, cluttered, when like there is no open options, uh, he's the guy who creates something out of nothing. And you always want to have a guy like that in the team. And Birkan is a, he's a young, promising scorer who I think, if given the chance, I think he's going to excel. And uh, maybe not this year, but in the, f in the future, he's going to be one of the better scorers in the EuroLeague as a Turkish player. Well, when I was talking earlier about the success that uh, we need to have, you cannot have success with uh, five, six players. It's very hard because the season is so long and you need to have fresh legs and you need to have fresh minds also. So uh, having a, 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 a deep backcourt or a frontcourt is very important for in the long run. Uh, we're expecting, we're hoping to play late in March, in April and not just finish before top 16. So I think uh, having this many players is a good thing. It also makes uh, our practices uh, very high level, and it keeps us uh, it keeps us ready also for Turkish league as well. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I always consider myself uh, as a team player. Um, uh, I know what I can do good, and coach knows what I can do good. And uh, if I'm called upon, I can play 40 minutes, or I can just wave the towel in the sidelines. To me, the important thing is that this team has the success it deserves and goes to the final four. So I, I, I'm not really too much thinking, I don't, I don't spend too much time thinking about how much I'm going to play or what I'm going to do or my role is going to be. My role is going to be whatever the team needs me to do.
it's a tough group. I mean, EuroLeague basically is the league with the best teams in Europe. So I, I don't agree with people saying that, oh, you guys have an easier group or a group of death. Or I don't believe it. I think that's nonsense because these are the best teams in Europe, basically. Most of these teams won their uh, league championships. Most of the teams have been a long time in EuroLeague, so there is no easy games. Cedevita or Caja Laboral or Zalgiris, whatever. It's going to be tough road games for us, all of them. Uh, but of course, as I said, like uh, we want to be the favorites and we want to be the winners of the group. So uh, it doesn't matter who we play against. Our goal is to play the last game of the season. Team chemistry is very important. Uh, from the beginning, we need to build the team chemistry at the highest level possible uh, to understand each other better on the court. Uh, second thing, which is as important as team chemistry, is defense. We have to play very, very good defense. Uh, Europe now, it's, it's not what it used to be 20 years ago when like, there was basically no defense. You have to play against the best players in, in, in the planet well, after the NBA. But uh, it's very important that, that we play defense. I, I cannot stress enough this point. I mean, because defense wins championships. I'm a firm believer of that. And uh, if we play high-level high defense, it doesn't matter whether we score 70 or 60 or 50. As long as the other team scores 49 or 59 or 69, the important thing is that the win in the end. And without defense, we cannot, we cannot do that.